This is my second preliminary winter forecast for the winter of 2025 to 2026. Some pretty big changes have been made, so make sure you stick around until the end. We will start by discussing the major factors playing into this winter season. The factors themselves haven't changed since last forecast, but their impacts have. The first major factor is the development of a La Nina, which is currently ongoing. A La Nina occurs when the waters in the central and east-central equatorial Pacific cool below average. It typically influences winter patterns by creating a blocking high pressure over the North Pacific, resulting in warmer and drier conditions in the southern United States and colder and wetter conditions in the northern United States. As of now, we have officially entered into a La Nina, which has slightly modified our initial forecast. This is because a full La Nina was not completely certain before, but is definite now. As we move forward, the probabilities of a La Nina peak around the October-November-December timeframe. After that, the probabilities begin to decrease heading into the heart of the winter season, with the probabilities of a neutral pattern becoming more likely by the January-February-March timeframe. This makes the forecast very complicated and interesting, as the first and second half of winter may be very different. The second major factor playing into the winter season is the development of the polar vortex. Just note that this one hasn't changed much since the last forecast. This is likely to be a major factor once again this year, as La Nina patterns typically bring alongside significant polar vortex appearance and Arctic blasts as a result, and we have the evidence from temperature anomalies of every single La Nina event to conclude this. The polar vortex has a stable phase and an unstable phase. When in a stable phase, cold air is contained in the Arctic Circle and poses no Arctic outbreak threats to the United States. The problems arise when the polar vortex enters an unstable phase, which weakens the jet stream and allows cold air to move southward, allowing waves of this Arctic air to push into the continental United States, resulting in major, and often dangerous, outbreaks of significant cold air. This could be very prevalent this year if the forecast stands. Now that we have gone over the major factors shaping our forecast, it is time to give you your second edition of the temperature, precipitation, and overall forecast maps. Starting off with the temperature map, this first zone is where slightly warmer than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers much of the west coast and deep southwest regions, as well as Florida. This is typical of a La Nina pattern, but this zone has expanded in the west since last update. This next zone is where noticeably warmer than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers parts of the central and southwestern regions, which basically means all of California in simpler terms. Another typical case of La Nina in the west, and you can guess that these areas will also be quite dry as well. Moving on from the warmth, this zone is where slightly colder than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers a large area of the country, including the Central Plains, Ohio Valley, and northeast regions. The polar vortex will bring frequent cold air outbreaks through these areas. This next zone is where noticeably colder than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers the North Central Plains, typical North Central, and Ohio Valley regions. The polar vortex will be more prevalent here, with more intense Arctic air outbreaks expected. That leads us to our third zone here, where significantly colder than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers the northern plains and the north-central regions. Intense polar vortex-induced Arctic air outbreaks are expected, with dangerously cold conditions at times. This area should be prepared for a very harsh winter. The next map we will show is the precipitation map. This first zone is where slightly drier than average conditions are expected. This zone mainly covers the southwest and southeast regions. This is typical of a La Nina pattern, and has been the trend for many of the last few years. This next zone is where noticeably drier than average conditions are expected. This zone covers the southwest region. Drought will likely be a major concern yet again for these areas, which have been struggling with this issue almost every winter with a La Nina. Moving on, this zone is where slightly wetter than average conditions are expected. This zone covers the northwest, north central, Ohio Valley, and northeast regions. Though these northern areas usually see wetter winters during La Nina, this is an unusually large area forecasted because of the other factors mentioned earlier. This next zone is where noticeably wetter than average conditions are expected. 
This zone covers the North Central region and part of the Ohio Valley region. This is where the unusually active and expansive storm track will be most intense, bringing frequent precipitation events off all types. It will be a very turbulent season for this area, as you will see in just a moment. It is now time to unveil the biggest piece of the video, the part most of you have probably been waiting for, the overall forecast map. There we go, the big map. Starting off with the gray section, mountain snow is expected. A good surplus of precipitation will fall, leading to heavy rain and snow based on elevation. Ski resorts will likely have much success this year and lots of fresh powder to work with. In the orange section, warm and dry conditions are expected. It tells a similar story to many of the past years, as drought will likely take over and cause concerning problems once again. Hopefully, the forecast leans towards more storm minus late in the winter season. In the yellow section, mild conditions are expected. Slightly above average temperatures and slightly below average precipitation should make for a pretty bland but comfortable winter season, with not too many weather extremes. In the tan section, dry conditions are expected. The impacts of Arctic air outbreaks will occasionally be felt around here, bumping down the temperature average. It will not be as active in these areas with the storm systems, however, leading to a slightly colder and drier winter. In the black section, average conditions are expected. This one is pretty self-explanatory, as it will be mostly balanced all year. There could still be weather extremes, but they will likely balance each other out throughout the season. The pink section is where the battle zone is expected. This is where mixed precipitation will be frequent with incoming storm systems because of the clash of air masses. All hazards of rain, snow, sleet, and freezing rain will be commonly at play throughout the season. In the purple section, the polar vortex is expected to make some visits. Brutal and dangerous Arctic air outbreaks are likely, and although many in these areas are accustomed to it by now, it is still very important to be aware and prepare when something like this is forecasted. In the dark blue section, snowstorms are expected. This does not mean that every storm is a big snowstorm with only snow, but the setup is favoring an increased chance of more snow throughout the season. For those who like snow, you might be in luck this year. In the darker blue section, nor'easters are expected. It appears that conditions may be highly favorable for large coastal storms, which could bring heavy precipitation and strong winds to the east coast. The blizzard threat is on watch this year as there is definitely the highest chance for one out of any recent years. Lastly, in the red section, the worst of winter is expected. This is where the combination of severe cold and frequent storms will lead to the most harsh and snowy conditions. Brutal winter storms, biting cold, and strong gusty winds will be prevalent, along with what will likely be a significant lake effect snow season for the areas that see that. This could be quite the interesting winter season ahead. That will wrap up this video, thank you for watching, and remember to leave a like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Feel free to leave a comment as well if you want some more specific details for your area. Get ready for winter, and stay safe.